Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Harshita Agarwal and this is part 3 in my series of Virtual Cloud Network Level 200 course. Here I'm going to talk about deploying virtual firewall on OCI. Although Oracle Cloud Infrastructure provides you with firewall capabilities, some customers prefer to run their own custom firewalls. So while we provide you with best-in-class security services for the categories we participate in, we may not make everything you need and we also understand that you may have made significant investments in tooling and skill sets for a variety of security products. So we want you to be able to get to those capabilities on our platform as well. So here I'm going to discuss now a couple of third-party firewall solutions that you can use from our marketplace or which are otherwise certified on our OCI platform. So here is one Fortinet FortiGate next-gen virtual firewall configured with two FortiGate VM instances spread across two availability domains and enabling secure ingress and egress traffic to the OCI platform. So you can deploy the solution from our marketplace uh, a VM as a VM and utilize security processors and threat intelligence services from FortiGuard Labs to help protect your critical business applications and deliver strong threat protection against the most advanced uh, known or unknown threats and to stop them, uh, stop such attacks in real time. So this setup provides web filtering, uh, intrusion prevention services, antivirus, malware prevention, application control, and also provide advanced features such as uh, extreme threat database, vulnerability management, and flow-based inspection work all coming from 40 guard labs to identify and mitigate the latest complex security threats. So as you see in this sample architecture here that we are using two instances of FortiGate virtual firewall running inside public subnets across two availability domains and in front of them there is a public load balancer. So all the traffic hitting these instances is first load balance across the two ability domains. Now, all of the traffic that comes to the virtual cloud network has to pass through the FortiGate next gen virtual firewall. And similarly, on the way out, it goes through the firewall again. To maintain high availability and distributed traffic flow, there is a private load balancer inside the private subnet, as you can see here, which distributes the traffic among your web or app tiers. So private load balancer is basically load balancing the traffic across multiple instances across the two ability domains. And within your database tier, you have the database setup. And then again, for uh, high availability, there's a data guard setup into different availability domain as well. Next, we are going to talk on VSRX firewall from Juniper. The VSRX offers the same feature as Juniper's physical SRX series firewalls, but in a virtualized form factor. Juniper says that the VSRX is the industry's fastest virtual firewall. Uh, VSRX is built on the Juno's operating system, which is Juniper OS operating system, and runs as a virtual machine uh, on a standard x86 server. It provides you with a complete next generation firewall solution providing application security features like intrusion prevention services and app secure or content security features like antivirus, web filtering, anti-spam, content filtering. So covering layer four till seven, layer seven, and also combined with its uh, Sky advanced threat prevention integration, it can provide you with anti-malware and built-in machine learning to improve efficiency and decrease remedy time. In terms of deploying this on OCI, uh, VSRX require two public subnets and one or more private subnets for each individual instance group. The public subnets consist of one for the management interface, which is FXP0, and one for a revenue interface, which is a data interface. The private subnets connected to other, other VSRX interfaces uh, ensure that all traffic between applications on the private subnets and the internet must pass through this VSRX interface. The diagram shown here shows a VCN with three subnets in which there are two public subnets 10.0.1.0 slash 24 
and 10.0.2.0/24 for management interface and for revenue the, or the data interface and both have access to internet through the internet gateway then there is a private subnet which is 10.0.3.0/24 this is a private subnet with no access to internet in terms of the vsrx image you have to first download the vsrx qcow2 image from the juniper software download portal and upload that vsrx image to the oracle cloud infrastructure's object storage bucket once uploaded then you can import that image to help launch an instance in a emulated mode thereafter you create two vnics deploy one in the public subnet for revenue data interface and the other in private subnet after the vnic is created and attached you now need to create a console connection to access the vsrx instance this will help you in configuring the management interface the revenue interface and interfaces in private subnet so you can visit this link at the bottom to get the detailed step by step process of configuring the vsrx as a virtual firewall on ocr we also have palo alto networks vm series next generation firewall as a certified virtual machine appliance for ocr so you can deploy the vm series firewall on ocr either manually through oci console or using a terraform template the template is available at github and the link is flashing here to launch the vm series firewall you have to first download the qcow2 image from palo alto networks customer support portal there you will see an image as pan os for vm series kvm based image so you have to download the 8.1.3 version or later Once downloaded, you can then upload that QCow2 image file to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage, and then import that image to help launch an instance in para virtualized mode. This Palo Alto Networks VM series next generation firewall can be deployed both on bare metal or virtual machine instances. With this VM series on OCI, you can secure inter-VCN traffic as well as north-south traffic. For inter-VCN traffic, the VM series firewall allows you to secure traffic which is moving within your cloud environment between the VCNs. So in this scenario given here, you can configure an interface on the firewall connected to a subnet in each VCN. In case of north-south traffic, you can use the VM series firewall to secure traffic entering your cloud network from an untrusted source or exiting your cloud network to reach an untrusted source so in this example here the outbound traffic is exiting the trust subnet in your vcn so you can specify a routable rule that redirects that traffic to the firewall the route rule points outgoing traffic to the firewall's interface in the trust mm -hmm. subnet of the vcn and when the firewall receives this traffic it performs the source address translation on the traffic and apply any other security policy that you have configured that brings us to the end of part 3 and also concludes this three part series on virtual cloud network level 200 course hope you find it useful thank you